guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my September TBR. So yeah, let's just get started because, again, I have to clean, I have another video I want to film. The first book I really want to get to is not really a book, it's more of a comic. It is the Spongebob comic books number two. It's called Aquatic Adventures Unite, Adventurers Unite. If you saw my book outlet package, you know I just like recently got this one. Really cool comics and i really want to collect all of the spongebob comics i want to buy like maybe five of them a month once i start getting allowance or like if i got a job somehow but yeah this is this and um i actually read the giant treasure chest one that i recently got in the book outlet package as well and um i'm really excited about it um i'm still in the middle of it i'm almost done i think i'm about 65% of the way through that big thing. It's the 31st today of August, so this is now September time. Time for you to shine. Oh, so pretty. The next books I really want to read, Regweed and Poppy by Avi. I have the first four books in this series, and I have read these two books. These are the other ones that I have not read yet. I've only read the first two, and I'm planning on rereading them this month because I really want to see if I want to continue on with the series. I'm almost halfway through Ragweed and I started it yesterday, I think. So I'm getting my way through it. I'm listening to the audiobook. I really like the audiobook. So the first book in the series is Ragweed and this follows like a, a mouse that um, is leaving his country town or is leaving his country home and going to the big city. and. There's a lot of struggles along the way, such as Silver Sides, which is a really mean cat. Obviously, a mouse and a cat don't really mesh. And he's just trying to make a living in a big town. He wants to explore the world, so that's where he, but that's what he's doing in this book. I'm excited. I really hope I love them as much as I remember loving them. And yeah, so I'm planning on reading the first two books. If I get any farther than that, that's good with me. Um, these are good books I could listen to while I'm cleaning because... They go by pretty quickly because they're middle grade. I'm excited to really get back into this series and I hope I really like it. The next book I really want to get to this month is Solo by Kwame Alexander with Mary Rand Hess. I have no clue what this is about. I recently read Swing by Kwame Alexander for the reading rush in the middle of July and I really liked it. I think I rated a 4 out of 5 stars. Thinking of it now, I think I would rate it more of like a 3.5 out of 5 stars because I just didn't really like connect with it or anything. So yeah, this is like a chunky, chunkier book. It doesn't look that chunky on camera, but it kind of is. But it's written in verse, so it shouldn't take me too terribly long. Um, I love all of the books he lets out. The next book I want to get to this month is The Trouble with Hating You by Sajni Patel. And it says these two are not or so not in love. So this is about Leah and Jay. So they follow Leah and Jay's perspective in this book. One day Leah doesn't realize that she was tricked into going to a dinner with Jay who her family wants her to marry. So like it's like an arranged marriage thing. So she's kind of mad and I just I already know it's I already feel like I know what's going on there. Like what is happening next? I think I know. Because look at that. You can't fake love, man. You can't. <laughs> so that's that book. And this is adult. I recently bought this at Walmart. And because I was kind of like, I kind of want to just buy a book for no reason. So I bought this one. The next book I really want to get to this month is A Chunker. Let me just say it by Stephen King. Um, the reason I want to get to this one in September and not October is because I'm scared because of the, the size, obviously. But I'm scared that if I start it in October that I'm not going to finish it in October. And then, you know, I feel like that's really just like a, dis a disgrace to Stephen King to not finish this in October. I feel like this book is meant for October. So I kind of want to start it now, maybe get through like half of it and then read the second half or the second part of the novel in October so I make sure that I finish it by October or during October just as long as I finish it during October I'm okay this is about Pennywise the dancing clown he's kind of like a shape-shifting demon I guess you could say and he lives in the sewers of Derry this little town and he fe he feeds off of people's soul specifically kids but he feeds off adult soul as well but he feeds off of 
adult and kids souls by luring them in with their fears he becomes your fear so if it was me would he become the dark because i don't like darkness would he become a spider he's done that before so <laughs> i don't know he just turns into your your biggest fear and then he like sucks the soul out of you and just eats you up. I'm sure a lot of people have already seen the movie and already know what's going on with this book and what pretty much happens, but I've heard there's a lot of stuff in the book that is crazy and kind of disturbing and disgusting. Um, so that I'm kind of like nervous about because uh, I think I'd rather watch the movie. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of left out things in the movie because of how disturbing and disgusting they get. In the book I'm still ready to read this last year I wanted to read it for October but I never ended up picking it up and I think I'm actually ready to pick it up this time around I think I'm gonna read it and then when I'm busy if I can't read it I'll listen to the audiobook I've got it on Scribd it's all good the next book I want to get to this month is the way you make me feel by Maureen Gu and this one has been on my TBR for like half a year maybe maybe even longer so it's been on for a while I mean there's other books that have been for years but this one is about a girl named Clara and she doesn't really take things seriously and one day she kind of takes a joke too far and her dad for punishment forces her to work at his food truck there's a, a boy named Hamlet <laughs> in this story and like an arch enemy girl um, Rose who she has to work alongside and maybe she's realizing maybe she's not that bad maybe she has a crush on Hamlet that's pretty much what the synopsis gives away so I'm really excited the next book I want to read this month is Mulan by Disney there's like a film I think it's already streaming um, on like Disney Plus and stuff or something I don't know but it's streaming and I really want to see it not as badly as a Spongebob movie though but I kind of want to read the book if I ever watch the new film of Mulan, I want to read the book before I watch the movie. We all know the story of Mulan. She, um, one day her father is supposed to be sent off to war and he's really, really in bad shape. So Mulan decides to dress up as a man, aka Ping, and she goes to war for him. How brave. I love that. I love Mulan. She's like my favorite Disney princess. The words in here are fairly large, so this should be a pretty quick read. The final book of my choice, not really my choice, but also kind of my choice, is an ebook slash audiobook. I don't know which way I'm going to go with it yet, but it is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. The reason I'm picking this one up, or hoping to pick this one up, is because the Late Night Book Club is planning on um reading this together this is like this new late night book club is like a new book club that noelle and a bunch of uh, two other booktubers have i think i'm gonna join this book club um and i've kind of always wanted to read the seven husbands of evelyn hugo but i don't have a copy of it so i'm gonna read it on ebook slash audio so whatever way i want to go with it now it's time to dig around in the buckets the mystery bucket and then after that i dropped one <laughs> and then after that I'm going to go clean for a little while because it's already like three I'm gonna dig around in here and pick my first mystery book I already had books picked out but then the quality was like sucky it was really bad I'm hoping this one goes well if it doesn't then it's just it is what it is fangirl by rainbow rowell let me go get it here it is I have this one from book outlet tag oh and then there's like sprayed edges, so that's nice. These are like the only sprayed edges I have other than one of my classics. Um, so it's very nice. I like the cover. And I've heard good things about it. I'm kind of like, the the kind of like idea of the, the book, it doesn't really interest me that much. I'm pretty sure it's like online comics, or not comics, but like she's a fangirl of something. And then there's like this whole other series based off of, the character she creates in this I think but I don't like I'm not crazy about the concept of this book so that's kind of the concern for me apparently she is a Simon Snow fan I don't know a whole lot about it but, oh that's nice <laughs> but I don't know a whole lot of the concept but I just I feel like I'm not gonna like it so I'm kind of nervous going into this but that's okay it's an option and maybe I'll love it you never know so I'm gonna go for two more picks out of the random bucket Usually I'm supposed to pick like two, but 
it's okay. I really want it. I want a good one, please. The Hating Game! Wait, I'm actually kind of excited for that. Okay, so this book follows these two people, Lucy and Joshua, and they, like, work for these really big publishing companies, I'm pretty sure, and one day, like, the, the companies, like, combine and they have to share an office, and Lucy thinks that Joshua, like, hates her, and then, like, you know, like, so she's playing this, like, hating game with him, so... It sounds good. At first, the first time I heard about this book, I was like, it's okay, you know? But after hearing, like, Noelle explain what the concept of it is, I never really realized. You know, she explains it better than the synopsis for me. But I'm excited for this. This is another adult book, which is okay. I'm really happy about that last one. So, you. Be a good one. Percy... <laughs> I can't read Percy Jackson. I did it again. I have books two through five. I don't have book number one. I don't know why. I guess I could do like ebook, but I, I like if I have like whatever. I want to get the, the actual book. So I'm going to read you off of that. And we're going to, this is our last pick. You better be good. Words in Deep Blue. Uh, Words in Deep Blue is a very short novel here it is this is one i was kind of saving for like a reading slump one day but this is about like these two teenagers we follow rachel and henry's perspectives in this book and this novel i'm sorry and one day like rachel has a huge crush on henry and one day she moves away far away and later in her life she comes back to this library and works alongside henry um, and actually before she left the town where Henry lives, um, before she left, she actually slept a, like, a love note into Henry's favorite book. So, hoping that he would find it, find it, and, like, confess his love for him, her as well, sorry. <laughs> um, but, no. She comes back, and then, I don't really know, this book doesn't seem super interesting, but it's really short. So maybe, just maybe... We can go through with it. So these are all the books I'm going to try to read this month. In total, I have 12. Again, book of the month. I don't know what's going to happen with that. If I want to read that this month, then I will, I guess. So yeah. Thank you for watching today's video. I will see you next time on my channel. Um, let me know any opinions you have on these books. Please don't spoil me. If you've read any, obviously no one's going to comment, so that's okay. But um, I hope you have a great day if you're watching this, anybody. Um, so yeah. I'll see you next time on my channel. Bye!